Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Bella and today is the very first episode of The Sims in Bloom. I'm very excited about this legacy. I've been wanting to start a new one for a while and I couldn't find one that just clicked. So I thought, why don't we try something that puts me a little outside of my comfort zone? So just in case you've never heard of the challenge before, it is by a Sims Garden over on Tumblr. I will have that linked in the description down below. There are 10 different generations, starting off with Daisy, which is based off of white and yellow, followed by Buttercup, Lavender, Rose, Forget-Me-Not, Sakura or Cherry Blossom, Tulip, Lily, Pansy, and then finally it will wrap up with the Hydrangea generation. Since we've been doing a lot of rags to riches lately, I've decided to go ahead and start her with a home that's already pre-built. It's going to be rather sparse, but she is going to have at least a house to live in and something to get her started. There are rules in this for us to give them a small house. If we give them a small house, then that means that we are only allowed to start with a thousand simoleons in our pocket, which I'm totally okay with. So just to go over the uh, generation that we're going to be starting with, it is Daisy. So the description reads, gardening has always been your passion. Owning a large and healthy garden is all you've ever wanted in life. Even if your nails constantly have soil under them and you have so many broken pots, you've lost count. Your happy place is meditating in the shade of the fruit trees that you grew yourself from tiny saplings. You sit and wonder what your family will grow to do and hope that they will flourish just as beautifully as your garden has. This is the start of your family legacy. So the traits are going to be clumsy, loves the outdoors, and cheerful. She will be a gardener, and the aspiration is going to be a freelance botanist. The colors that we're going to be heavily focusing on is going to be white and yellow, which are really pretty colors to add together, so I'm excited about this one. The three skills that we are going to have to max are going to be gardening, fishing, and wellness, which that's going to be very interesting. I can definitely see her doing yoga outside, just in the backyard somewhere, enjoying the birds singing around her. The rules that we have to follow, we have to live on a lot with the challenge, simple living. Now that one did come from Cottage Living, so I'm not a big fan of that one. This is what I mean about putting me outside of my comfort zone. Grow a cow plant and keep it alive for as long as you live. If it dies, immediately plant a new one. That one is going to be an interesting one. I think we are going to probably have to go to Oasis Springs for this one. That's the only place I've ever caught one in the wild. We need to grow five perfect plants. That should be somewhat easy. I haven't been able to get perfect plants lately in the game, so I'm really wondering if this is going to be possible. We need to marry a Sim who also has the loves outdoors trait. Now, I do already have a Sim in mind for her to marry for this generation. In the future ones, if you would like to submit a Sim for our heir to marry, or at least date and or have a kid with, then go ahead and submit it to the hashtag Bella Townies, and I will take a look at it. We also need to grow a death flower. I don't think I've grown a death flower at least not on purpose. So I'm excited to try this one out. This last one though, I don't know if we're going to do or not. It is gonna be gain the outdoorsy lifestyle. I'm not a fan of the lifestyles. So we may skip that. That is listed as an optional thing. We'll kind of play it by ear, I think. So let me be the first to introduce you to our founder. This is Daisy Bloom. Unfortunately, I couldn't be all that creative with her name because I was really surprised there are not that many varieties of daisies that aren't just called daisy. So, unfortunately, we did have to go less than creative with her name. I am excited, though, to get a little bit more creative as the legacy progresses. But this is our founder. She is very cute. I love her. I did go ahead and give her multiple different outfits for each of the categories just to spice things up a bit and give it a little bit more variety. I want this legacy to be very different from any of the other ones I've done before as much as it can be seeing that it's me doing this legacy and The Sims is always very chaotic. You get the picture. Welcome home to the house where we are going to be living. This is in Windenburg. If you missed the speed build of my building this, I will link it in the description below um, because I had a lot of fun building this. It did not turn out the way I initially planned, but I do like it. It is rather cute. Plus there is space for us to expand as we go. Now I wanna give you a little bit of backstory on this. So Daisy grew up in the countryside, very similar to the Windenburg countryside. 
side. She really loved it, but she also wanted to get out of her parents' home because it was just time. Nothing against her parents. She loves them dearly, but she did need to branch out onto her own and spread her wings a little bit. So she moved to Windenburg with her best friend, Natalie, who you will see later on in the episode. Her main goal is to enjoy the countryside, have a beautiful garden, work her way up in her career, and start a beautiful family. So let me give you a quick tour of the house. Coming right on in, we've got a pretty nice size living room. It's nothing over the top. It's spacious, but it's also cozy at the same time. I do see her expanding and adding more furniture, maybe adding bookshelves, things like that to kind of make it a little bit more homey. Now, I purposely did not give her a TV because I think that at least for the time being, she's going to be more happy to be outside than she is going to be inside watching TV. If we need to watch TV for anything, we'll go somewhere. So not too worried about that. Um, coming down through here, this is the kitchen. It's a cute kitchen. It's kind of sparse again. I think she'll branch it up and make it a little bit nicer as she gets some more money. Um, the dining room is right over here. It's very small. I don't really see a need for her to have a big dining room. Coming up the stairwell, we've got a couple of doors up here. So this door right here is the current spare room, um, but it could also be used for a children's room should that time come. We've got a bathroom right here. Very, very plain, just exactly what she needs. And then we've got her bedroom right here, which I think is one of my favorite bedrooms I've created for a sim in a long time. So let's go in and check on our sim and see where Daisy's at. Daisy, where are you? Oh, she's out here on the back of patio. She's already knitting. Now, one thing I do want to have my Sims do is to have a hobby on top of everything else that they are doing because sometimes even if you're doing something you love, once you start doing it for work, then it becomes less of a hobby and you need something else to kind of help balance things out for you. So I've given her a knitting basket as well as a cross stitching basket. It's just something I thought that she could do while sitting outside, having a little bit of fun and enjoying the fresh air. Um, once you finish that though, we do need to get you in your job. So perfect. She's finished it. Let's go ahead and sign up for our career. We are going to be going into the gardening career. Taking a look at gardener, you've always had a green thumb, but now you think you can earn some green with it. You'll start by doing a lot of planting and gardening, but keep at it and you can find success in the science or art in doing so. So she can either become a botanist or a floral designer. I did give her the flower arranging uh, station. So we can kind of see which direction she's going to go. I don't know yet if she's going to want to be a botanist or a floral designer, so we'll give her the chance to make that decision herself. It looks like we are going to be working Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. A bit odd that you have Monday and Friday off, but we'll go with it. She's going to work from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. and will make 20 simoleons an hour. That's not bad for a first job. All right, so she'll start Tuesday at 8 a.m. And we have a work assignment to purchase some garden seeds. Okay, I did go ahead and give her some of the plots from Cottage Living because I want to also try to have her grow some of the oversized plants and maybe we can try to win one of the Finchwick fairs with it. So first things first, let's go ahead and purchase some seeds since we only need to purchase one. I did give her some seeds to get started. So let's pop over to our phone and what seeds can we buy? Um, since we're in spring, let's do a seasonal spring plant. I know those are a little bit more expensive, but we should get stuff that we can actively grow right now. So what did we get? Crocus. And we also have strawberries, carrots, mushrooms, and green peas. I think we'll have her do some strawberries first. So let's go ahead and get those planted. Uh, Daisy, if you would not mind, I know you're enjoying sitting down on your rocking chair. 
but let's get planting. You know, I think we will plant the crocuses. I think we will. Just something fun for her to have. I think this will be a good way for her to get started. She's already acquired the gardening skill, so that should help us out a lot. Taking a look at her aspiration, which is another thing we have to do, she needs to plant something three times and then weed or water plants 10 times. So we should definitely get this one completed fairly quickly. And taking a look at the rest of the things that we need to do for it, for the next level, we'll need to achieve a level four gardening skill and evolve five different plants. Then we will need to achieve a level six gardening skill, graft onto three plants, fertilize five plants. Oh, wow. This is getting really in depth. And then the freelance botanist, which is the final level, achieve a level 10 gardening skill, grow a cow plant, and then evolve 10 excellent plants. Okay, I think that getting them to excellent is going to be one of the harder things. So we may want to invest in a bee's nest. Huh? No, it's a bee bo bee's box. Yes, bee's box. I don't know why I said nest. It's a box. Y'all know what I mean. Yeah, you know what? Let's have her go ahead and purchase some oversized crop seeds. Oh, they're not that expensive. I thought they were going to be so much more expensive. Okay, obviously we have to go watermelon and a pumpkin. Because I know I will get yelled at in the comments. If I don't, we're going to do a mushroom and we're going to do an aubergine. Let's go ahead and also plant these oversized crops. We will go ahead and grow the garden at some point. This is just to get us started. I would put her in her gardening outfit, but it is cold and I don't want her to freeze. But she has a really cute gardening outfit. You just got to trust me on this. I may have to give her a winter gardening outfit because gardening in heels is just not it. I feel so bad for her. Plus, those tights of hers are going to be so dirty by the end of this. I may have to also add laundry in here. Now, let's get our oversized crops down. Do we need to water these? We will also need to water these. So she probably should have waited to water. It's okay. We'll get all of these planted and then water everything. It's getting later in the day. So I think we may just take today to kind of just explore the area. All right. We should complete our first level of the aspiration with this. There we go. Very easy start off to it. I would have thought this would have been a little bit harder, but then again, it is level one. So, all right. I do have a cute little setup for her with all of her gardening plants and everything like that. She's got a nice seating area to sit and eat uh, if she would like to outside. She also has a swing, which let's, let's let you go swing out here. It is getting kind of chilly. Oh, okay, okay. Please don't fall. Please don't hurt yourself. That's the last thing we need. Just taking a quick look-see around. We do have a lot of neighbors walking. So that's kind of nice to see. We also have a small park across the way from us. And oh gosh, we have the we have a small waterfall. Mm. I love this world. This world is so pretty. She's going upstairs to use the bathroom because I did not think ahead and I did not add a small bathroom downstairs. So that's my bad. Once she does that though, even though she is nauseous, she is getting kind of hungry and we do have the simple living lot trade on. So um, we're going to need to order a grocery order, I think. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like she can't cook anything but a fruit salad. So go ahead and make a family-sized fruit salad just so we have a couple of servings and we don't have to worry about it. Um, I hope this does get your skill up to a level two, though, because I want to say level two, we can do something with eggs. So maybe tomorrow we can go to Henford on Bagley and see if we can't go grocery shopping. I... No, you can order stuff in, but I kind of would like her to go out and meet more people. But don't you love her outfit? It's a cute sweater dress. I'm a big fan of sweater dresses personally. So as soon as I saw this, I had to have it. That does not look very appetizing though. What did you put in this? Okay, I'm getting maybe mango, strawberries, blueberries, maybe some apple slices. Maybe this, I think this might be... 
a pineapple. Um, I think you overmixed it, my dear. I think you did. Did you eat that that fast? Well, goodness. Oh, hey, it's our best friend. Congrats on landing that sweet job. I think this is going to be great for you. Thank you, Natalie. Oh, that's so sweet. We should invite Natalie over to see the house. Okay, I get you're clumsy, but that that's taking it a little far even for you. So please do not break all of my plates. We do not have that much money. All right, well, let's go ahead and invite Natalie over so you guys can meet her. Um, invite her over, yeah. Invite your best friend over. Show your house off. You just moved in. Self-sustaining. She's happy because she's self-sustaining. Oh, there's no better feeling than cooking with already owned ingredients. I love that. Oh, hi, Natalie. I haven't even given you keys and you're just walking right on in. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, hi. Tell her a joke about Martians, though, really quick. Or or not. Okay. Uh, well, then come here and sit and talk to your friend. Um. She's flirty. I wonder what happened. Oh, I wonder if she met someone. Okay, what else can we do? Brighten her day. Let's see. Ask about her career. Has she gotten a job yet? Uh-huh. She has not gotten a job yet. Okay. All right, let's ask her to pursue her dream job. She is our best friend, so... I mean, we should encourage her. Interesting idea, Daisy. I've been pondering what would give me the most satisfaction in my work life. I'll let you know what I decide soon. Oh, I love this. It's so cute. Yeah, complain about the cloudy weather to her because, yeah, if it's cloudy, then it just is kind of gloomy. Now, they have been best friends since, I'd say, probably later high school. And they have gotten to know each other a little bit better over the years until they became best friends pretty much right around the time that they graduated and both became young adults. All, all right, wait, where'd you go? Where are you going? Where, wh what are you doing? Where are you going? Oh, you're coming in here to read a book. Oh, okay. See, this is how you know you're their best friends. She just walks away and picks a book up off the shelf and starts reading it. Pretty much best friends walking on in, reading a book without even asking. All that we need is for her to just take some food out of the fridge and start eating it. That's, yeah, that's all we need. And then the trifecta of all the things that you do when you are best friends with someone, walk right in without knocking, just start doing whatever you want in their house, and then eating their food. Wait, where are you going? Are you already going to bed? Daisy, no, you have a friend over. Oh my god, Daisy, go go send, send your friend home. Send Natalie home if you're gonna if you're gonna do that. Wait. Hang on, where'd she go? <gasps> Oh, she's waiting for us. Okay, and Daisy just went to bed. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, I get it. You're tired, but you're not that tired. You're, t you're putting on like grandma hours. Come on. What is this? You two are supposed to go out on the town together. And she's just out here swinging away. I kind of love that, though. Um, I do think, though, Natalie, it is time for you to head on home. You can come over whenever, but I think it is time for you to go ahead and head on out. All right. Have a good one, Natalie. Thank you for hanging out with us. And we're just going to let her get a little bit of sleep before she starts the day tomorrow. Natalie, you just left us. It's good to hear your voice. You just saw us yesterday. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know Knox Greenberg a little better as a friend. They seem like good company. Ooh, I like this crossover. Go for it. Even though I'm asleep, you should know better. You're not going to get a coherent answer when we're half asleep. So, I mean, seeing it is as it is 930 in the morning, um, she really needs to take care of her needs. It's also March Madness. So it looks like we may need to go to a bar later tonight. So uh, let's have you get your stuff all set up. We are not going to be doing university in this one. And then come down here and let's just have you get some leftovers. We do need to check on our garden. It seems to be growing rather well, okay? Um, I don't see any weeds popping up, but I do see that we already have some strawberries blooming. 
she's already completed all of the things that she needs for her first day at work. She's already at an excellent performance because she's just that great. <laughs> Granted, we are only at a level one, so fair. Go ahead and eat, and isn't this a cute outfit? Oh my goodness, you're adorable. I love you so much. The good part about fruit salads is she eats this rather quickly. The bad part is she gets hungry faster. So we're gonna have to go and do some shopping today. Before we go and do that though, let's have you sell all of your strawberries. It does not look like your crocuses need watering. Do any of these need watering? They don't, but you can encourage your crop growth. And then definitely let's have you research your strawberries and research the crocuses because we need to know everything we can about these plants. Huh. One of the things that I would really like to do is I would like to try to complete the gardening uh, collection. I don't think I've ever done that before. And seeing as the sim is all about gardening, why not? I think it could be fun to one day have a greenhouse filled with all sorts of exotic plants that you don't typically find in like the base game version of gardening. So definitely could be a lot of fun. It also means that we would go on vacation to a lot of different places. So I think this could be something that we would have a lot of fun doing. And then whenever we have kids, I think we should have our kids try to do some collections as well. Just something fun to see how many collections can we complete in one legacy. One thing that I like to do with all of my legacies is to add little side quests here and there. So collections is going to be a really fun side quest for us. All right. We've researched both of them. So the crocus... We don't know that much about. So, okay. Flowers that bring cheer wherever they grow. They're uncommon. And then strawberry. Ooh, this gives us some good information. So, strawberry plants grow small white flowers before a berry harvest arrives. You graft with snapdragons to get dragon fruits. Graft with daisies to get bonsai buds. And then graft with bluebells to get grapes. Ooh, okay. I do like this. That will definitely help us out. All right, seeing as it is March Madness, we probably should go and take part in this. So you play games, you exercise, mischief, and watch sports TV. Okay, well, we don't have any gaming tables or sports TV at the house right now. So let's see. I think it probably would be fun to call up Natalie and go to one of the bars and see if there's anyone there. So really quick, her needs are all perfect. All right, well, let's give Natalie a call and head on out to one of the bars. We just headed on down to the local bar. And I think, yes, there is a table here for her to play some games. There's also a foosball table, darts, and there's, why are we at a bar and the TV is not on playing sports? This is strange to me. All right, turn the sports channel on. Where is sports? Oh, here it is. Watch sports. There you go. Let's watch some sports before anybody else gets in on this. Okay, it looks like there's quite a few people here. There is no bartender. Well, that's just sad. All right. Well, you know what? Watch some sports, and I don't know where our friend went. So it looks like we're going to be making a new friend. Now, who are you? I really like your hair. Uh, Sasika? Agnes? Crumple Bottom is calling me. Wow! Okay! Th okay. All right. I've called to inform you that your great great grand, second once removed, cousin's friend's grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you. Will you accept? I don't want her to get married right away and I definitely don't want her to feel pressured to get married. So I'm going to say because we kind of do need the money. Uh, I'm going to say under what conditions. 
Um, but I get this a lot. It's supposed to be random, but I do get it a lot. Thank you for the 2,500 simoleons. All right. In the meantime, let's make a, a new friend. Let's also introduce ourselves to Candy since we're right here. This is a great way for her to make some new friends. I love it. And then she also has the comfort of her best friend there, just in case things go wrong. All right, well, let's clean up the game. And why don't we challenge our two new friends to a game? Let's play with it. Candy and uh, Saskia, I think is her name. Okay, first round is going somewhat smoothly. It's already wiggling though. Okay, you're, you're in the way if you're playing darts. We need to see what's going on. Okay, I don't like how it's wiggling. When did you get here? I mean, sure, all right. You lost. That's fantastic. At least we didn't lose. It would have come to us and we would have lost. So I guess we should say thank you for taking the L for us. All right, let's see. Come on. Bad luck two times in a row. All right, well. Let's try one more time. Surely he can't have bad luck three times in a row. If he does, then that's like my level of bad luck. And I feel for this guy. I don't know where Natalie's going, but it's okay. We just needed her to get us in the door. And we'll see how things go. Oh, his arm is shaking a lot. Oh. I mean, honestly, I don't blame him. Oh, he's like, I'm out. Oh, okay. Okay. He didn't want to take the next L. Oh, oh, this is bad. This is very bad. No! All right. Well, at least we're, ju we're just sad. What are we sad about? The llama cries tonight. The humiliation. Not only does your sim have to deal with the dishonor, but they also have to clean up the sad pile of sticks. Actually, why don't we, since we're doing this, let's go ahead, let's play around with uh, Joaquin, or Joaquin, I need to figure out how to say his name. Let's play a round of darts, and let's see, is she good at darts? She's so-so on Don't Wake the Llama. So let's see how she does with darts. Line it up, and you got nothing. All right, so we just need to get a point. Oh, he got a point. Two points. All right. We just need to get two points. Come on, Daisy. You can do it. All right, Daisy. You just need two points. We've got one. All right. Now, are we, are we going to get our next one? Okay. No, we didn't. Okay. All right. So, she didn't do too hot on that round. So, let, let's see what the next round brings. Well, he got a bullseye. I mean, so we're proud that he got it, but um, sad for what that's going to mean for our score. Come on. At least hit the board. We're probably going to lose. Okay, you hit the board, but not in the right spot. Hit somewhere that lets you score. Hey, we got a point. We got two points. He's still beating us. So... Uh. The goal is to not lose spectacularly. Yeah. And Natalie, I am in the middle of a darts game. What's up? This is the third time you've called. You switched careers. Okay. What, what did you, what did, career did you pick? Culinary. Interesting. That's an interesting career. All right, then. He is wiping the floor with us. Um... Wow. All right, so I think it's pretty clear. Darts is not her thing. Eight to three. All right, well, I think it's time for you to head on home, though. We know she's decent at, at tabletop games, um, but darts, she's definitely not, so... Um, let's let her head on home. Maybe we'll have her knit something to kind of get the frustration out. She's already knitted a beanie, so... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. 
she didn't fall. I thought she was going to. Alrighty, light the fire and let's have you knit some socks. Have her knit something to just to get the frustration out, to calm down and soothe her emotions before we send her to bed to get ready for work. You know, I'm always amazed at how quickly they knit. When I knit, it takes me five years to get nearly as far as where she is. I do really love that they added knitting in so that way people of all ages can knit because I don't think it's just a old person thing. I think it is something that anybody can sit and enjoy. And she's reached level three, which means she can now knit furnishings, mailboxes with cozies, and plant holders. That is why we picked knitting for her hobby because I want her to knit plant holders so she can decorate her house with even more plants. And she's finished her knitting project, so they are of normal quality. Maybe we'll add them to what the household can wear. She is kind of hungry, though, so definitely grab a snack before bed. It is getting kind of late. The only reason why I'm letting you eat it is because it is a fruit salad. All right, go ahead and clean up, and then we are going to head to bed. All right, um, before you go to bed, though, I am going to have you go to the bathroom just so you don't get woken up in the middle of the night. And then go ahead and curl up in bed. As much as I love this bed, it does not raise her sleep need that fast. So whomever she marries is going to have to be rather handy in order to make sure that uh, the bed is sleep replenishing enough. Because I love the fact that they're pretty, but... Not if they don't get their sleep needs up quick enough. It is late. It is midnight. You are going to need your sleep for work tomorrow. So, all right. I think this is a good place for us to pause and wrap this episode up. She's actually met quite a few people. We got to meet our best friend again. And we've planted a garden, which is already starting to grow and produce crops. So that is very exciting. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what are you most excited for in this legacy? Do you have a favorite generation? Is there something that you are looking forward to that I have not seen yet in the rules? Have you done this challenge yourself or do you just enjoy watching it? I'm very excited for this challenge and I can't wait to see what happens next. So if you are new here and you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give the video a big old thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I hope I'll be